What's up everybody? This is Air Creed Harry and today I'm in my uh, lab space that I made here to do some Air Creed experiments. So this week what I'll be doing, what you see in front of you is a bunch of bowls. I'll be adding the same amount of cement to and changing the mix of foam and sand to see which is going to give me uh, a stronger air creep. So I'm going to be doing a bunch of different experiments here but the key experiment I'll be doing this week is what I have going on with this wall. Okay so I just built this wall. I'm using uh, steel studs here. I have a, a, a stud on the floor for the channel as you can see here and then I have my uh, cap here. So, I have my uh, uh, thin plywood, this is uh, less than a quarter inch, this is a little thicker than one eighth inch, but it's very thin, the least expensive plywood I could buy, um, and I got it thin for the purpose I'm going to use it for because I'm filling this cavity here with aircrete, so it's much lighter than regular cement or concrete. Regular cement and concrete, the pressure would bow out all of this wood panels. So I just reinforced it with one screw here in the middle. So you can see I've got the screws in the middle row. And then on the bottom I have a wood, a piece of wood there. And I have the same wood on top that I'm using to push everything against and uh, screw my things in here. So what I'll be uh, experimenting with this week is I have one, two, three, four, five 16 inch wide wall cavities that I'll be uh, trying different uh, air creed mixes. So this first one would be the standard air creed, six gallons to 194 pound bag of cement and whatnot. And then these are very special because I'm going to be uh, experimenting with what mixture of aircrete makes the best insulation for a wall cavity like this. So this is not so much about structural here. This is these four experiments are going to be all about insulation, and I'll be uh, doing different mixes pouring them in here each one I have a different mix and um, once they cure I'll be removing the panel and checking to see how the air creed looks and and all of these uh, five cavities that I have here so anyway that's uh, the experiment I'll be doing I'll be working on this week or this weekend uh, and I'm really looking forward to it I got some other tools for testing um, the air creeps. So I'll be showing you all that stuff very soon. Anyway, that's it for now. Peace out. here we have our steel stud with the I guess uh, U channel I'll call it facing in and this one here is also facing in now this is what I want because I want my air creep to be locked in by these pieces here so this area will get filled in with the air creep and this will help lock that into place 
to keep it from shifting around. Now the issue I have is these two are facing each other. Now I have a back and the back. So I don't want to have two backs. So I want to have at least one side. So I'm going to put another stud here on this side so that at least one side has a U-channel facing in. And then I'll do the same thing on this side here. You see the two backs here. I want to have another channel. I'm going to put it here like this so the uh, cement can be held in place by that groove.